Known for its ubiquitous golden arches and convenient, kinda greasy fare, McDonald's restaurants can be found in virtually every city and town in the United States, and in almost every country in the world. But how much do you really know about Mickey D's? He's often referred to as the founder of McDonald's, but Ray Kroc isn't actually the person who came up with the concept. That credit belongs to Dick and Mac McDonald, two brothers who opened a barbecue drive-in that also had hamburgers on the menu in San Bernardino, California in 1940. By 1954, they had expanded thanks to their streamlined, speedy service system. That's when Ray Kroc came into the picture, a full 14 years after the chain began. Kroc, whose job was selling milkshake mixers, was so impressed with the McDonald's operation he opened an affiliate franchise in Des Plaines, Illinois. In 1961, Kroc bought a the McDonald's brothers and turned the chain into a worldwide phenomenon, while systematically erasing Dick and Mac from the history books. This is Ray Kroc, founder of McDonald's, a man who had a dream 23 years ago. Ask most people about the hot coffee lawsuit and they'll probably tell you some greedy lady won millions of dollars in a lawsuit after she spilled a splash of coffee on herself. But the reality is quite different. It's true that Stella Liebeck spilled hot coffee on herself and ended up later suing McDonald's, but the lawsuit was anything but bogus. The coffee she received was so hot that it caused third-degree burns on her lap, buttocks, and genitals. As a result, she was hospitalized for eight days and ended up permanently disfigured despite extensive skin grafts and reconstructive surgery. Even with all that, she initially asked McDonald's to help cover hospital expenses, and only ended up suing them after they countered with an offer of just $800. Liebeck easily won the case. As it turned out, McDonald's had received hundreds of previous complaints from victims also burned by their coffee. McDonald's ended up paying Liebeck an undisclosed amount, somewhere south of $600,000 as a result. I was not in it for the money. I was in it because I wanted them to bring the temperature down so that pe other people would not go through the same thing I did. It's widely known that McDonald's uses beef trimmings treated with ammonia gas in their burgers, a product better known as pink slime, thanks to a crusade by celebrity chef Jamie Oliver. What most people don't know, however, is that McDonald's actually doesn't use pink slime anymore, and hasn't for years. In fact, according to their website, McDonald's discontinued the use of the stuff in 2011. Similar rumors that chicken nuggets are made with pink slime, or that Mickey D's uses worms, horse meat, cow eyeballs, mutant laboratory meat, or human flesh in their dishes are also just not true. How do you do it? What's your secret? The Big Mac McDonald's Signature Burger was invented back in 1967, and pretty much everyone knows what's in a Big Mac, right? Two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. Oh, got him! But exactly what is in that special sauce? For decades, people have believed that only a handful of McDonald's top brass know the recipe for special sauce. But that's actually not the case. In fact, you can find the ingredients for the special sauce on their website. And McDonald's actually put out their own video of how to make this stuff at home. The classic Big Mac, homemade, made at home, with ingredients that you can find in your grocery store locally. Enjoy! Over the years, there have been quite a few viral posts from folks who have allegedly purchased a McDonald's meal, then preserved it for years after purchase. The result has been that these meals don't appear to decompose, feeding the myth that McDonald's food is so pumped full of preservatives and additives, it's not really even food anymore. But according to McDonald's, the reality the reason these foods don't rot isn't because they are unhealthy, but because of the controlled conditions in which they're stored, photographed, and documented. In fact, any food preserved or stored without moisture will wither and dry up, subsequently not showing regular signs of decomposition. And that's the case with each of these mummified meals. They simply dried up. Your Big Mac is safe to eat. Need proof? It's probably 90% of my, my um, solid diet is probably a Big Mac. And that's Don Gorski, who's eaten a Big Mac every day since 1973. And he's still alive, so go nuts! It's not easy being a giant in the burger biz, which explains why McDonald's has been dodging rumors about its beef for years. A few years ago, a rumor spread around the web. It claimed McDonald's planned to trick customers into believing its soy and beef combo patties were in fact 100% beef. They planned to do this by buying bogus meat from a company named 100% Beef. That would be quite the switcheroo, huh? As the rumor goes, McDonald's could claim they used 100% Beef by playing off the company's name 100% Beef. To stamp out the story, McDonald's released a statement reading in part, We've heard this myth and can confirm that 100% Beef is not a company owned by McDonald's. The company assured customers the only thing they add to their whole cuts of beef is salt and pepper. At the end of the day, truth in advertising laws would never let a corporation get away with that kind of scheme. In fact, the Federal Trade Commission was put in place to prevent that kind of thing from ever happening. When you have the most popular french fry on the planet, it doesn't take much to make the rumor mill start turning. Did you invent french fries? One common myth is that McDonald's french fries contain beef. 
But how true this is depends on how you look at the chemistry. In 1990, McDonald's announced they'd only be using pure vegetable oil in their fry-making process. They were subsequently sued by vegetarians who claimed they used beef in their fries. McDonald's eventually settled the lawsuit to the tune of $10 million because their fries contained, quote, natural beef flavoring. Since then, a lot of people think McDonald's fries contain beef and therefore aren't a suitable choice for vegetarians and vegans. But what exactly is this natural beef flavoring, and is it vegetarian-friendly? Well, it's created by adding sugars and citric acid to the amino acids found in beef. As Eater explained, once a flavor is broken down into its basic chemical components, scientists can reconstruct it and add one food's flavor to another. Still, since the FDA's rules regarding natural flavors are incredibly relaxed, we may never ultimately know what's really in those fries. If you think your McDonald's ice cream isn't dairy, we have news for you. According to a long-standing rumor, McDonald's dropped the word milk from their milkshakes because the beverage isn't dairy at all. That's hogwash. The reason they're called shakes is because each state has different dairy regulations as to what can be considered a milkshake. I had a shamrock shake. I hate you. And I got one for you, too. I love you. According to a McDonald's spokesperson, our shakes contain milk from our reduced-fat soft serve, which makes them thick and creamy. A similar finding holds true for McDonald's soft serve. It's actually, quote, ice milk rather than ice cream because it has a lower milk fat content to make it lighter. What do you get for a McDonald's price? I got a chocolate mustache. Considering that the McFlurry is made using soft serve, this frozen treat is decidedly not vegan-friendly. For now, vegans will have to skip all those shakes and McFlurries, or embrace the dairy guilt that comes with them. The fact is, a fast food restaurant run by robots might not be too far off in the future, but it's not a reality at McDonald's just yet. Still, that didn't stop a 2015 story from spreading the idea that robots had taken over an Arizona McDonald's. A fake news site ran a story entitled, New McDonald's in Phoenix Run Entirely by Robots, and it quickly gained traction on Twitter. It probably didn't help matters that the story wasn't written in a particularly satirical way, and even referenced a CNN story that talked of the possibility of robots replacing fast food workers. Despite the completely made-up quotes and non-existent restaurant opening, numerous people on social media circulated the phony story. Even a year later, shareholders had to be assured by McDonald's CEO Steve Easterbrook that robot workers were not about to take over. McDonald's apparently wants us to think that the company is all grown up now. Its McCafe is competition to Starbucks, and the once plentiful play places are all but extinct. But just because play places are disappearing doesn't mean McDonald's is entering its teenage rebellion phase. Nevertheless, a lingering social media rumor claimed Colorado locations were replacing play places with weed smoking lounges. Sorry, stoners, but that's definitely not happening. There's no truth to report on social media that 15 restaurants in the state have transformed or plan to transform play areas into pot-smoking centers. The rumor began in 2015 after the fake Now8 news site claimed that several Colorado McDonald's had created, quote, hot pods. These would allow customers to take bong rips without disturbing other guests. Colorado may have legalized recreational marijuana use in 2014, but openly lighting up at McDonald's is still an illegal buzzkill. So have a McCafe smoothie instead. Fast food restaurants like McDonald's have long been criticized for underpaying their workers, often starting employees at minimum wage. So in 2015, fast food workers around the country went on strike, demanding that the minimum wage be raised to $15 per hour. Memes in support of these protests quickly spread on social media, and they claimed that all McDonald's workers in Denmark make $45,000 a year. In Denmark, there is no minimum wage. But because of union negotiations, people who work at McDonald's here make almost $20 an hour. It's true that McDonald's workers in Denmark are paid better than most American workers, but it's important to point out that most employees only work part-time. In the end, it's only the full-time McDonald's employees who make $45,000 a year in Denmark. Got that? McDonald's probably has a full-time staffer whose sole job is to clean up rumors about its ice cream because the myths just keep coming. Take, for instance, the pig fat myth. Where's your costume, Ronald? We don't know how the rumor got started, but McDonald's apparently felt the need to make a statement. The company assures concerned consumers that the only animal products in their frozen treats are dairy, not pig fat, and not chicken fat. There are also rumors that McDonald's shakes contain plastic, 
The story apparently spread after a writer claimed he'd spoken to a scientist who swore the shakes were nothing but sugar-infused plastic. But don't worry, no credible source has ever backed up the claim. The shakes do contain carrageenan, which is derived from seaweed and ensures your milkshake doesn't become an undrinkable frozen block. So to sum up, you're not sucking down any pork fat or plastic in your McDonald's shake, just lots and lots of sugar. Fun fact, nobody wants to eat fries made out of potentially toxic potatoes. Fortunately, McDonald's customers don't have to. In 2014, food author Michael Pollan launched a video attack against McDonald's for being too picky with its potato size. He claimed McDonald's required potatoes to be a certain size and shape. And since the potatoes couldn't have any blemishes caused from aphids, Pollan claimed using pesticides were a must. He also described farmers spraying crops with poison and storing them away for weeks. There are size requirements for McDonald's potatoes, but they don't toss the rest in the trash. They resell them. McDonald's reportedly avoids potatoes that have the aphid-caused net necrosis, because frankly, black streaks and fries are gross. Finally, farmers don't hide McDonald's potatoes away for weeks because they're toxic, but because the large sheds are climate-controlled, so you can have fries January through December. Okay, who's hungry?